Well, now to a story about a boy who went to Rose Park Primary and Theberton Boys Tech and then went on to change the world. Professor Frank Fenner died this week at the age of 95. He played a leading role in eradicating smallpox and his work on the Vexoma virus helped stop the rabbit plague in Australia in the 1950s. Here's a small tribute to a man who achieved great things. Frank Fenner was born in Ballarat in 1914. Both his parents were teachers. His family moved to Rose Park in Adelaide when he was two. He went to Rose Park Primary School and then on to Theberton Boys Technical High School. His father was a strong believer in public education. And he said he didn't want to risk his son becoming snobbish by going to a private school. And that public schooling clearly left a lifelong mark. The school I went to in Adelaide was Carpe Diem, its motto is Carpe Diem, seize the day. And when a day's come up, I've seized it, and it, most of the seizures have been uh, happy ones. He graduated from Adelaide University with degrees both in science and medicine. And in 1940, he enlisted in the army where he worked on the malaria parasite. After the war, he worked on the myxomatosis virus and the control of the rabbit plague. He received numerous national and international awards and he worked with the great scientist McFarlane Burnett in his pioneering work on antibodies, for which Burnett was later awarded the Nobel Prize. But without doubt, his greatest achievement was the role he played in eradicating the smallpox virus. He admitted this himself when he looked back on the landmarks of his life's work in 2002. The one I, I uh, feel proudest of was the standing up in front of the World Health Assembly as chairman of the Global Commission for the Certification of Smallpox Eradication and uh, declaring that smallpox is eradicated. That's the official proclamation, is it? Official parchment certifying the global eradication of smallpox. Professor Basil Hetzel is now 88. A great medical figure himself, internationally recognised for his work in eradicating iodine deficiency disorders, he was a few years Frank Fenner's junior at the Adelaide Medical School and he has a valued copy of the UN report from 31 years ago when Frank Fenner oversaw the eradication of smallpox. And as a young medical researcher, Basil Hetzel says he was inspired by Frank Fenner and both followed the philosophy of act locally, think globally. And you can't do much better than globally eradicating a deadly disease. This is one of the great triumphs of public health, global public health in history. There's no question about that. If you look him up, he's got a great list of prizes, but some of them are very prestigious. Einstein Prize uh, and uh, so on. He uh, was a very generous benefactor to ANU. There's a Fenner Hall at ANU that commemorates him. Uh, very generous with that and also in supporting environmental research and advances in environmental understanding. So in summary, a great man, a great Australian, a great South Australian? Most certainly. Most certainly. Most certainly indeed.